Hello, I'm Molly Thorner, the Director of Emergency Preparedness for the North Central Texas Council of Governments. I wanted to take a couple minutes to talk to you about the Tornado Shelter Rebate Program and some of the decisions and the history behind the program that led to the launch and some of the things that we're going to do in the future to help make it easier and better for everybody. We initially applied for this project with the four counties, Collin, Denton, Dallas, and Tarrant, uh, about over a year ago. And we used the Tarrant County model of about $400,000 and the same assumptions about demand about how fast we thought the shelters would go for this grant. We submitted the grant and we heard back from the state that we were actually awarded the funding at a little bit less than what we had applied for, just under $1.4 million. We worked with the counties to allocate the shelters uh, directly across to all four counties and worked then at that point to start building a system that would be able to handle all the inquiries and automate as much as we could of the process, making it easier for everybody. What we didn't realize until about a week before the tornado shelter launch was that our assumptions about the level of demand were completely wrong. And what led us to believe this is we heard from several cities who had already processed hundreds of forms each. Initially, we thought the website would be getting about 1,000, maybe 1,500 hits over several days, and we would be able to leave it open at that time. Once we heard from the cities that they had already processed this many forms, we realized that our assumptions were way too low. When we talked to our, our IT folks about increasing the demand on the server and the network from our initial assumptions to what we thought were about 12,000 to 15,000 hits, they were concerned that we would crash our network. Over the weekend, we worked to develop several mitigation uh, strategies and things to do that would help relieve the, the, the demand on the network in timing and also uh, make it easier for everybody. Some examples you might have seen, we, we removed the picture. We also purchased a launch page where we directed the NCT Safe Room program to the launch page to handle that initial traffic load uh, while folks were trying to get in. One of the main decisions that we made that in, in retrospect we probably should have done differently is we decided to not announce the time, only the day, for when the program would launch. We were, and our plan was to launch the program at midnight. Of course, as anything, good plans in, in IT, midnight comes around and we still had some final tweaks to do on the website. And it, we got those tweaks done at about 1.15. There were some folks who were able to get into the system at midnight and we've gone ahead and accepted those applications. You've heard what's happened since then. We had 825 applications and entries into the system and had to close it at about 5.30. We know we did some um, things wrong as far as communicating with you on the website. And moving forward, we work, we vow to do that much better in the future. Um, we also, for the next waiting list, we will announce a time and a date per county that the wait list will be open. Then that, what we will leave will do is help spread out demand throughout a, a longer period of time and, and allow everybody to get in and get on the wait list. We've already been in contact with the state about future funding and I'm hopeful and optimistic that our emergency management partners at the state and at FEMA will use this and recognize the demand. We got our analytics yesterday uh, on the number of hits on our website and at one point during the launch day our website was getting 200 hits per minute. We had th over 12,000 unique individual site visitors hitting the website over 56,000 times. Uh, clearly, uh, the, the demand, clearly there was no way for us to estimate the demand that we had. I apologize for this frustration and, and um, the time that may, maybe you have put into the system. We are working to improve it and make it better. I also apologize to any of the city staff who um, had to deal with angry folks or frustrated people as a result of these decisions. Uh, we look forward to making the process better, and we're open to hear more of your suggestions. You can email us at nctsaferoom at nctcog.org, or we have a new Twitter uh, feed and account that you can follow us on to find out specifically about the Safe Room program NC, at NCT uh, on Twitter. Well, please follow us there. We will post a press release announcing the time and dates of the waiting list for the next round at least five days in advance to give you enough time to make sure to to plan for that. I appreciate all of your efforts and preparedness and I know that you take tornadoes seriously. I think that if there's anything good that came out of this, it's that we realize that our residents take know the risk of tornadoes. I want you to continue to prepare your families for, for disasters here in North Central Texas. Please visit the Know What To Do website, K-N-O-W-H-A number two D-O dot com and we'll have a link for you to go to learn all about the hazards that we face here in North Central Texas 
flooding, tornadoes, severe weather, heat, uh, and even terrorism, and what you can do to prepare your family. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon.